Today we have a pretty dope travel bag from TYLT. Huh? What's that, Chucky? Oh, it's pronounced tilt? Tilt. Sorry, it's pronounced tilt. Good and terrible. What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Today we have a pretty dope travel bag from Tilt. It is the Tilt Pro Power Bag Backpack Charging Station. Okay, well Sorry. check this out though. First of all, you throwing too many big words at me. Okay, now because I don't understand them, I'm gonna take them as disrespect. Wow. That is too much, so I'm just gonna call it the travel bag, the tilt travel bag. This tilt travel bag comes with a 20,000 milliamp hour battery. It's really 20,100 milliamp battery. There's more than 10 pockets, and there's an internal wiring system to keep everything organized. So let me go ahead and unbox this and show you what this is all about. So when you open up the box, you have a bunch of paper, and then you have the bag. Here it is people, the Tilt Travel Bag. It is a gray color. It has a canvas fill all around the bag. Let me go ahead and show all the pockets that it has. Let's start in the front. You have a pocket in the front, maybe if you wanna store your passport in here, some any kind of papers that you have when you're traveling. Another pocket up front. It's magnetically closed, a pocket that you can easily access any, any documents or whatever you wanna put in here. This pocket on the side right here has this mesh bag located on the inside for water bottles. That's water from a glacier in Alaska. It's maybe an eight ounce water bottle if you're traveling and you don't want to carry your water bottle anymore, you can go ahead and store it in this mesh pocket right here. And then when you're done with the bottle, just tuck the pocket out of the way, zip it up so it's a more sleek look. You don't have any external pockets showing on the outside. The pocket up top, it's lined with uh, a soft material. What is that, velvet? Set your phone in here, shaped so that you can set sunglasses in here. So you got another pocket right behind the sunglasses pocket. And this has the RFID, is it RFID? protected material so that if you're traveling abroad or just traveling in general, keep your wallet in here, any cards, anything that can get hacked into this pocket is supposed to prevent any hacking from taking place. The next pocket I wanna show you, the big pocket on the front, this is where you'll find the external battery. It has a carrying pouch, two other pockets in the back, mesh pockets, and then you also have a zipper pocket back here. Maybe you wanna put your tablet or some other documents. I mean, this, this bag is just loaded with pockets. You have a business card slot, another pocket, a see-through mesh pocket. So in this accessory pouch, you have the battery, you have some literature, user manual, comment card. Wait, wait, last thing, last thing. I'm also gonna need that extended warranty on. One year warranty card, another warranty card, and some silica packets. Inside of this box right here, here is the external battery. It's actually got a rubberized feel to it. It has your LED indicator lights on here. As you can see, you have two USB ports, USB type C and a USB mini cable. It also comes with a bunch of cables. You have your USB type C to USB type C, USB to USB mini, another USB to USB mini. The pocket on this side, this is where they this is where they suggest that you put your external battery in. It has the organized wiring system in here. Various little slots throughout the back for the internal wiring system. This is TSA compliant. When you open up the main pocket, you have these Velcro flaps. And if you're traveling with your laptop, which if you have this bag, you probably are, you don't have to take your laptop out of the bag. Just simply open it like this and slide this through the x-ray machine. 
laptop pocket, can fit a 17 inch laptop, has that felt material, real soft material on the inside, and we have another mesh pocket right here, maybe for some more documents. If you can see right here, we have some elastic so that you can run the cables all the way around depending on how you wanna get this bag set up. Another pocket on this side, so I never have to remove the battery if I don't want to. I'm just gonna put the AC adapter right in here so when I'm traveling and I need to charge up my external battery, I'll just pull the AC adapter out of here, plug it up, recharge my external battery. So moving around to the back, you have a stabilization strap, bunch of padding. This padding right here keeps the bag off of your back. It's like a venting system so that when you're walking around and this bag is moving around on your back, the rubbing won't make you sweat. That's what it's designed for. Oh, air channels, that's what they're called. These are called air channels. Who knew, right? You probably knew, I didn't know. I called it a ventilation system. Same difference. And then you have some more padding on the sh on the straps. I don't know if you can see this. You see how, how thick that padding is? This whole strap right here is filled with padding. Both sides are filled with padding. You also have, if you don't wanna carry this, if you have a rolling luggage, you can slip this over the handle so it sets on top of the luggage like this so you don't actually, if you don't wanna carry this, you don't have to carry this. And I think that is it for the pockets. Now I'm going to set this bag up so that you can see my laptop in here. I have a tablet in here. I'll put my phone in here and I'll wire it up so that you can see exactly how this bag will look firsthand in action. Okay, so I finally got this bag set up exactly how I would carry around, but first, I missed the pocket. There's another pocket on the strap. I think this might be the hold spare change. I'm not pretty sure, I guess. Whatever you wanna put in there, I would probably put spare change in here. So what I did in the main pocket, so I have my laptop being charged, ran the cabling through. In the front pocket, I have my cell phone being charged in the pocket. Where'd I put it? So many pockets, I don't even know where the hell I put this other. Okay, so here we go. In this pocket right here, I have my tablet being charged up. The last place that I put something for now is when I'm sitting in the airport and I don't want to disconnect the battery and take everything off to charge it. This AC adapter, just take it out, plug it into the wall, and I'm charging my external battery back up. Maybe not in the airport, but probably in the hotel after I get to my destination. I don't have my mobile devices hooked up anymore to this bag. I can plug this into the wall and I make sure that my external battery stays charged up at all times. Between this bag, the other cables that I'll most likely bring for when I'm in the hotel, I don't think I will ever run out, out of juice. 20,000 milliamp battery. Oh yeah, this is a Qualcomm quick charge external battery, 3.0 technology. So all of these zippers are stainless steel with plastic tips with the tilt branding on them. Very nice, I like that touch. The only con that I could possibly see about this bag is after I plugged all my three devices in, the external battery got pretty warm, but you know, that's, that's to be expected. I have three devices hooked into this external battery, but it did get pretty warm, and then when I was pulling the battery out, it's actually really hot, so I'm hoping that this is lined with very good material. Um, only time would tell. Oh yeah, one more thing. This bag is currently going on Amazon. For real? How much those cost? For $150. I know it's not cheap, but if you are in the market and you travel a lot, this is definitely something that you would want to consider buying. So I actually have the bag on right now, and this thing is comfortable. Man, can barely feel it on my back. The ventilation system, the air vent system, whatever you want to call it, is nice. The padded straps are amazing up top throughout the whole entire strap. This is a must, people. Uh, yeah, if you're in the market, you really need to think about getting this. This, I will, I highly recommend this backpack. 
Tilt did an amazing job with this backpack. And their previous model is just as good. The external battery is a little bit smaller, but the build quality is amazing and it comes in black. I don't know if that's uh, more your speed, but I, I really, I'm really digging this gray look. So I like this one and I'm, and I, and I am, uh, 100% happy with this backpack. Oh yeah, and this video was not sponsored by Tilt because you know why? I only got 32 subscribers, so they don't even know me. Only 32 people know me, and I think seven of them probably subscribed on accident. So, like I said before, if you can, subscribe, like, comment. I got more videos coming. This is Tech Love TV. My name is Nicholas, and I'm out. Peace.